My name is Nikhilata Kotiki. I'm working as assistant professor in civil engineering department, Saint Francis Engineering College, Hyderabad. So today we are going to uh, solve a problem on sedimentation tank. The design of sedimentation tank that is used in a wastewater treatment plant. Okay. So, so this is the first problem that we are going to discuss. Design a continuous flow rectangular primer sedimentation fitted with chemical sludge cleaning equipment for treating sewage from a city having population of 80,000 person which has assumed water supply rate of 100 electricity assumed the minimum flow to be 1.4 times the average flow so assume necessary data required so this is the problem given so we have to design a continuous flow rectangular primary segmentation tank so, which has the cleaning equipment. So, mechanical sludge cleaning equipment is provided. Okay. So, since mechanical sludge cleaning equipment is already provided, so there is no need of storing of the sludge. So, the equipment automatically is going to be removed by this equipment. So, the you can the, there is no need of providing the extra space for the provision of the storage of the sludge. So, that has to be kept in the mind. So, let's solve the problem. So, these are the given data. So, population 80,000, rate of water supply 100 LPCD. So, what is LPCD? So, already I have told you, LPCD is nothing but liter per capita per demand. Okay, so the per capita per day, not demand, sorry, liter per capita per day. So, that is 100 LPCD. So, I maximum flow. So, they have given maximum flow is to be 1.4 times the average flow. So, there is nothing but peak flow is equals to 1.4 times the average flow. Okay. So, you can see here, we are designing the sedimentation tank for a waste water treatment plant. Okay. So, we are calculating for the So, we are designing the sedimentation tank for a waste water plant. Okay. So, we you can see here in the given data, population is given and rate of water supply is given. So, but we are not calculating the quantity of the water. We need to calculate the quantity of the waste water. So, how you are going to do? So, for that, so there is a standard value that is 80% of water is going to generate at the waste water. Okay? So, 80% So, what you have to do? So, you have to assume. So, for this, so assume, so what you have to do? Assume, assume 80% of water supply So that is 
assume liquid depth is equal to 3 meter. So now we know the capacity of the tank and also we have assumed the depth. So by using these two we can find out the surface area of the tank. Okay, we can find out surface area of the tank. So the surface area of the tank, surface area of tank is equal to, so this is in meter cube and this is in meter. So 746.67 divided by 3. Okay, so if we are going to do 746.67 divided by 3, we are going to get the answer as 249 meter square. 249 meter square. Okay, hope it is clear. So, after the detention times, the, the target will be over. We are going to find out the capacity of the tank. So, after capacity of the tank is determined, we have to assume the depth of the liquid. So, after by using the capacity of the tank and the depth of the liquid, we can find out the surface area of the tank as 249 meter square. Okay. So the next Next we have to assume length to breadth ratio So after finding the surface of the tank Let us assume let us assume length to breadth ratio is equal to 5. So let us assume length to breadth ratio as 5. Usually the length to breadth ratio is going to vary from 3 to 1 to 5 to 1. Okay. So, so this is the range. So we are going to take. So you can assume anywhere between 3 to 5. So here I am going to assume length to, uh, length to breadth ratio as 5. We know that area is equal to length into breadth. So this is the formula so already know, everyone knows. So area is equal to length into breadth. So what is the area? So just now we have found area is equal to 249 meter square. So that is 249. Area is 249. What is L? L is 5 times the B. So L is 5 times the B into B. Okay now? So that is 249 in, is equal to 5 B square. Therefore, so by using, so we are going to get B is equal to 7 meter. So one of the design parameters we have found. Okay, so the depth we have also already we have assumed as 3 meter and breadth we have assumed as 7 meter. Okay, so after finding the breadth we can find out the length also. Length is 5 times the B. So that is 5 into 7. 7 5 is 35 meter. So L is equal to 35 meter. Okay, so is that clear? So we have found out the breadth as 7 meter and the length as 35 meter. Okay. So next. So next we are going to write down the values. Okay. So we have assumed the depth as 3 meter. Okay. So plus we are going to provide 0.5 meter of free zone. Okay. So providing. Providing. Free board is equals to 0.5 meter. So providing free board of 0.5 meter, therefore the total depth will be total depth will be 3 plus 0.5 is equals to 0.5. 
five into seven into three point five meters. So this is the overall design of the sedimentation tank. So plus already we have decided that since the mechanical sludge cleaning equipment is provided, there is no uh, no need of providing the extra space for the storage of the sludge. Okay, so finally this dimension we can provide. Plus we can provide or we have to provide one percent of slope at bottom. Okay, so we need to provide one percent of the slope at the bottom so that whatever the sludge has been uh, settling down, it easily can move uh, easily uh, can flow and collected in a hopper. Okay, so that the sludge is collected in the sludge is collected in the hopper truck. Okay, so hope this problem is clear. So we have solved the length as 35 meter, breadth as 7 meter, and the depth as 3.5 meter, and we have also provided 1% 